The Title Designer is your all-inclusive interface for creating and editing titles and animations and can be accessed from directly inside your video editing software. It offers you everything you need to create professional, high-quality titles from a single location. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the tools you need to start designing titles today. Most of the options available to you with the Title Designer are expressed through just five customizable windows. The Attributes tab, where you'll find a range of options for customizing your titles. The Workspace, where you can preview and arrange your title's elements. The Timeline, where you can play your titles and customize your animations. The Title List, which lets you select and view all of your project's titles. And the Library, which offers you a range of templates, including titles, effects, animations, and more. Nearly every title you design will include a text element, which can be added by clicking the Add Text button above the workspace. Static text can only be modified from within the title designer, whereas variable text can derive its content from outside sources. To edit your newly created text element, simply double-click anywhere within the green bounding box. The Attributes tab offers a full suite of controls for modifying your objects. Here you can change a text field's font, size, style, alignment, kerning, and more. You can even highlight subsections of text within a single field and make style changes. Toggle the Style Breaks option in the Global tab to retain these changes even when the text itself is replaced. Furthermore, you can make adjustments to these strings of text by using the handlebars in the workspace, though these transformations will not be retained when using Style Breaks. When you're done making changes, you can deselect the text by clicking elsewhere in the workspace or pressing the Escape key. Adding shapes works the same way as adding text. Above the workspace, click Add Shape and select Ellipse, Rectangle, or Star. These simple shapes will be the basis of many of your design elements. For example, we can resize this rectangle to fit a title field, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D, and change each field's color in the Attributes tab. Transform any element using the handlebars on its bounding box to change its size. There are also buttons for rotating the object in 2D and 3D space. You can select multiple elements by clicking and dragging, and perfectly align their sides by right-clicking, opening the Align to Objects menu, and selecting Align Left. There are also options for aligning a title within the frame. After you've added multiple elements, it will likely be necessary to arrange the layers in the proper order. For example, our subtitle text is falling behind the white rectangle when we want it in front. You can change a layer's order by clicking and dragging it in the timeline, or by right-clicking on the object in the workspace and selecting Arrange Layers. If you want to make adjustments to multiple elements at the same time, you can group them by clicking and dragging, right-clicking, and selecting Group. When using the title designer that comes bundled with NubluFX's live broadcasting software, it's possible to add audio to your titles. To do this, click the Add Audio button above the workspace. This will prompt you with a file explorer where you can select your file. The newly added audio element will appear on your timeline where you can click and drag to change its start time. The audio file will play in its entirety regardless of its length on the timeline. The audio section of the Global tab also comes with options for selecting a new file, removing a linked audio file from the selected object, and changing the audio file's levels. Finally, you can import a variety of media from different sources for use with the Title Designer. In addition to basic images and video, you can import PSD, After Effects, and Vector files, which differs from basic image importing in that it gives you the ability to modify elements of the original file's design by double-clicking on the object in the workspace. Additionally, you can choose to export a design from the Title Designer, which will bundle the design with all required assets, such as pictures and sounds, which can later be imported by any computer running the Title Designer. After multiple titles have been added to your project, you can quickly switch between them using the title list. You can also pre-render your titles, or select a new design from any of the other templates present in your project while keeping the title's text intact. This concludes the tutorial on the Title Designer basics. The topics covered in this video are some of the basic functions of the Title Designer that will get you ready to create elegant, professional quality titles in no time. To learn more, visit nubluefx.com today.